Hey, welcome back everyone. The other day I had one of the subscribers reach out and say, Joe, do you think I should get a four millimeter starter chain, a uh, flat curb ch starter chain, or should I get a five millimeter? Should I just off the bat up to a five millimeter? What do you think? What's your opinion? So while a four millimeter starter chain would be absolutely fantastic, I mean, you guys know that I love to stack chains. I love to um, have my chains uh, layered so that you have smaller chains on top of bigger chains. While that's the case, this gentleman said that he was 195 pounds, so that's almost 200 pounds, and five foot eight. So a four millimeter, while it would look amazing on you and you can keep it and you can save it and then you can stack it with a couple of different chains later on in life or in a couple of months whenever you wanna buy some other stuff, for a starter, personally, I just want to give my personal opinion, just like I gave um, to the gentleman on the computer. Just want to throw it out there in case it might help some of you guys. Considering the man's size, five foot eight, which isn't huge, but 195 pounds, so that's almost 210 pounds, uh, so that's almost 200 pounds, I thought that it might be best to maybe just do what he was already thinking and go to a uh, five millimeter. So here I have a five millimeter flat curb chain. Just wanted to showcase this to you guys from a distance and actually compare that to a four and a half flat curb. Now, I don't personally have a four, but you can definitely see a difference between the four and a half and the five. So that's what I wanted to get looking at today. So let's get into this. All right, so here we have the four and a half millimeter. Now, keep in mind, guys, flat curb chains, they vary in, you know, from different uh, manufacturers. Some will look different than others, but we're looking at the width here. This is the width. This is the four and a half. And this is the five. <laughs> now, if you guys are thinking what I'm thinking, you're thinking that is a huge, huge difference. And I would have to say, yes, it is a huge, huge difference. It's gonna look even huger of a difference from 12 feet away. So let's get a look at that now. Now remember, you were asking if you should get a four. This is a four and a half. So it'll be even smaller than the four and a half. So keep that in mind. All right, so we have the four and a half on. It's looking very, very nice. You guys know I love my flat curbs. You get a lot for your money when it comes to any size flat curb that you purchase. Let's take this 12 feet away, give you guys a good look at what it's gonna look like on you in real life as much as possible from 12 feet away. All right, we'll take it back. All right, now we're gonna bring it forward again. Then we will throw on the five, and then we'll throw them on together. Give you guys a good look at both. All right, here's the five. Or off the bat, you can see a huge, huge difference between that four and a half and that five. So just imagine how much smaller the four would be compared to this five, because even the four and a half is looking very, very small. And because of your size, you're bigger than me, I feel like five millimeter on me is very, very nice. You, I believe should have at least a five, but that's my personal opinion. It's gonna come down to you, your opinion, your style, and your budget. Nothing wrong with a four. Fours are beautiful, but just keep this in mind. So let's take this back. Bring it forward, bring it forward. All right, now let's throw these on at the same time. All right, so here we have the four millimeter hanging lower than the five, okay? Just staggering that for you guys. So you can get a good difference in the width. I'm sure you guys can see a huge difference right now. Let's take this back. Remember, the five millimeter is on the top, the four and a half is on the bottom.
So, what's your opinions? What do you guys like? Let me know. Hope this video helped. Hope that you can make an awesome decision when it comes to your purchase. Whether you get a four or a five, uh, a, a four or a five, or even a four and a half and a five, whatever you decide, I am sure you're gonna love it. But I hope this was able to help you make a wise decision. Remember, there's always that buyer's remorse. Well, not always, but a lot of the time. And you don't wanna go ahead and go too small if you're already doubting the fact that it might be too small. Just my opinion. You wanna to try to make the most educated decision as possible. So I really hope this video was able to help you guys do that. Be safe, talk soon, see you at the next video.